Hi crafty friends, this is Pam, Pam's Paper Place. I just wanted to show you today a few, few items, um, some that I won, some that I bought, some are from Joann's, and some are a thrift store and a craft online store. So let me show you. These are uh, music sheets from Lisa with from body mind spirit store oh that's her etsy and that, i think that's her youtube also body mind spirit lisa mccarthy and i won some sheets of music really pretty look at the beautiful uh, music sheets and beautiful image look at that one one dozen roses spanish roses so pretty so, very large, beautiful um, music sheets. So, that was so sweet of her to share her uh, music sheets. So, I won those. So, I thought I'd share that. I also went to a, I guess, garage sale estate sale with my daughter. She just lives a couple minutes away. So, I went with her. I know that I have more. The rest must be upstairs. Um, I'm not seeing it here, but I just got a couple books. I got this one, Cover Story, The Art of American Magazine, covers 1900 to 1950. And about, I think, the theater. Um, just really cool um, magazine covers. Look at that. I think they were in the theater because they had some... Uh, uh, sets that they made must be for a play or something that my granddaughter got to maybe make a, um, a tree house with so look at these cool images they awesome 1922 33 28 1916 all different styles harper's weekly Really cool. So I got that. I also got the New World Atlas and Gazetteer. Oh, I also have um, a book that I don't have here that is really cool. It has all cigar labels. I'll have to show you that next time. But um, Sears Roebuck. And what is the copyright? I'm not seeing a copyright here. But I love maps. Look at them. It goes this way. So I was looking for a map to put in our RV of our trips that we plan on. We're going on one in September, short one up north in Michigan. Um, Cadillac. That'll be our first one using our RV. Uh, and then we'll be going for four months in the winter down to Texas. Um, this one might be kind of cool to frame and print. Or I mean, I want to print it, frame it. And then we could put little, I don't know, would we need something bigger? You know, I want to track how we get to where we're going. Why was I thinking Texas was more south? Mm -hmm. Anyway, we're going to take our time going down there. I have a daughter there, grandson, or a grandson and granddaughter. So, I really like the, uh, the look of the papers. That's really cool. Okay, and then another, let's see, thrift store purchase. Let's get that. I love these little trays like this, especially kind of shabby chic because my craft room is a little bit that way. So this is just nice, you know, to put little things in, little die cuts or whatever you have. So I like that little tray. 
I also got this beautiful stamp, Queen's Queen Anne's Lace, for two dollars. Looks brand new, or maybe it's once. So I love these wood stamps. It's a very nice quality one. I got that at a thrift store. The Perfect Life. I kind of read this a little bit too. The Shakers in America. I just like the cloth red cover and these nice pulpy type papers, thicker papers. Uh, what is this? 1974 was the last printing. I don't think there's any pictures, but oh yeah. I think it's about the shakers, so a few little um, pictures. I also got, uh, I do Mary Engelbright journals um, every now and then. This one is She Who Loves a Garden, Mary Engelbright. So I could make little cards, uh, little pockets with these cute, cute images. So, whenever I can find a Mary Engelbright, I will buy that. Sweet little book. And I also like to get these little, well, any little golden books, but I have so many now. But um, I kind of like this size, too. Be a cute little fun size. Doesn't even look like it's been open, really. My Little Book of Prayers. It's a little little one. I uh, love getting um, Reader's Digest. This is so pretty. Uh, this teal like cover with the gold. And I always read first the, I don't, I'm not really much of a non uh, I'm not much of a fiction reader, but I, I'll read all the non-fiction. Look how beautiful that is. One of my favorite colors. So that's beautiful. And here we have the runaway bunny. Everybody knows the runaway bunny. Um, and I think I have a couple of these illustrated by Margaret Wise Brown. But look at this. Such a beautiful book. Love, this is my favorite page. So that would be pretty to use for a junk journal. I found a Better Homes and Gardens, a junior cookbook. I have quite a few Better Homes and Gardens vintage cookbooks. I gotta get going on that sometime, but this um, originally, uh, this was uh, printed in 55. I was a, about a year old, and um, they've reprinted it. So it has the look of how it was back then, as you can see. So, love it. So, it's got the vintage look, but it's new. And I like that blue and yellow. And... So, that was nice to get that. Also, I found these at the thrift store. I should go back some point. There are, I think they're 10 cents each. And they're, they're nice, um, the thicker this one is anyway. I don't know, I'm in the mood for getting paper lately, and uh, I don't know that I really need any, but just in the mood for buying it. Look how pretty the edge is here. I love that. These, this would be pretty in a little golden or nature book journal. There's a Kaiser Craft. Um, I got these because they kind of go with this. Um, it's called Class of 87, Kaiser, Cla Kaiser Craft. It's a little bit of a school theme. These colors. So a little golden or would be good. So I thought that was a good find at the thrift store. These are all like school themed little crayons, stars, apples. This, these are remnants making the grade. Here's another pencil one. 
through. I had this before. Uh, by it's a uh, Echo Park. This is nice for a um, Mary Anglewright because she, you know, has some cherries in there. Here's one. Uh, just an ocean if I do a mermaid one. And a bandana one. Paper house for a western or cowboy journal. I like this photo play retro look. Cool polka dots. Here's a shabby chic um, Prima. I love Prima. Beautiful, thick. Look at this. Should have got more of this. Beautiful. Look at that in the back. So you never know what you're going to find at a thrift store. This is Prima Wildflower with a, um, not gold, but oh, kind of a blush color. I can't even think of the word. Look at this one. I would have bought more of these. I This is crepe paper. I love crepe paper. Here's another one. I had this paper pack at one time. Crepe paper. Love it. Pretty party. And this would be cute for a uh, farmhouse. The cute little pigs and the corn stalks. So that was great. Those were my thrift store. I went to Joann's. Got a few things that were clearance. This was $1.97. For these really pretty, I thought they'd be nice on a boho or a, uh, um, you know, garden journal. That's good for $1.97. And then this was on sale. Beautiful. On one of these boxes. Or did, oh no, you know what? I got this at uh, uh, Tuesday morning for $5.99. And then I'm just putting, that's so pretty, putting a little fun, it's like a little treasure chest. Little fun scraps in here, so when I collage or whatever, that's all in there. So that's beautiful. That was from Tuesday morning. Um, let's see. And then um, a few more things from Joanne's. Um, let's see. Yeah, I went with my granddaughter, who's she's 15, and we um, made a whole day of it because uh, we haven't been out in a while, you know, wearing masks and all the precautions. But we started out at a thrift store, went to Salvation Army, Tuesday morning, Joann's, Michael's, and she ran into um, Party City. I was kind of tired at that point so she just ran in there i waited for her in the parking lot so we had a fun time we always have fun together <clears throat> this was joanne's i believe it was clearance to a dollar 47 originally it would have been 349 a yard <clears throat> and i think i got a couple you know maybe two yards of this or so and that pretty with a ribbon going through it and i got this cool little spool too so got that <clears throat> Um, I got this another time before I went with my granddaughter. This was $1.97 for all of this. And it's little dark green pom-poms for only $1.97 for all of it. Great deal. And actually, I used it already. I'm making a nature journal, so I kind of added it here. So... I'm working on this. I just gotta embellish it. Then I found all of this for $1.97. This is even more on here with the pom poms. It's looking teal, but it's more of a green. I don't know why that is. Is it because of this color? Does that make a difference? No. But it's a more of a bright Kelly green. Okay, and then let's see. So these were, you know, several different purchases. Online, I believe it was Joann's. They had a sale on some paper. Uh, this was $2.99, and you got, I believe, you got 50 sheets of all these 
Park Lane. Um, they look kind of watercolory, like, yeah, watercolor. And you get all these, and it looks like this. And I thought it was lighter weight, but it doesn't matter because I'm going to, I think I'll use these for tags. Got a nice weight to it. Pretty. So that was online, and I just had to pick it up. This one was Park Lane, 50 sheets, and you get all these col uh, different colors. And this one's called Marble. And so it's like this, it was $2.99. Make nice tags. Great deal on that. And there was another one too I wanted, but it was sold out. A different kind of pattern. Um, then I ordered <clears throat> some paper. I don't remember, was it 10 cents maybe also, or it was cheap. Um, let's move this. More paper. Like I said, been in the mood for paper. This, I, and I wanted uh, some for my little golden books. I'm, I'm thinking I'll take a bunch of little golden books when we uh, leave for the winter and work on journals. Um, I just can't not craft, so I'm thinking I'll make little golden book journals when we're gone for three, four months. So this, I thought this would be cute. American Crafts. I think most of these are American Crafts. It has the deer and the fox and the bunny. Adorable. Got two of those. And look at these bunnies. I've got two of these bunnies. The flowers, pretty color. Two of those, and I've got or three of those, maybe. Yeah, and then I got these cute little bug ones. Two of these American Crafts, and I got three of these, but I think I have a bunch of these that I got like in a pack, you know, when you can get every now and then at Tuesday morning. I'll have to check, but I just was so adorable. Look at that. So cute. I love these. And they're not, well, they're fairly thin. I'd say they're more of a thin weight. Love these uh, kites. I want to get four of these. Beautiful. I guess I didn't see the print real good when I was online. I mean, this looks more Florida with the birds. Uh, but still, 10 cents each. It was a good deal. Um, here's some little banners, and then I thought I'm going to be journaling or keeping a record of when we go on our trip to Texas from Michigan this uh, winter. I love these little trailers. Got two of those. I've got a map here also to record our travel. And here I have two of these with the little cute trailer. Uh, trailers beautiful colors i got oh and then this was uh so those were online and then when i went in the store uh these were this is i don't know were they 25 cents maybe i paid 25 but anyway uh my grand my youngest granddaughter here in michigan she likes you know wild cats i think that's a jaguar this is cute so i'm gonna Give these to her for her little uh, journal that we're going to work on together. And this one too, probably. Uh, we started to make a little uh, project together, a journal um, made by me and my granddaughter, London. And it uh, started out real exciting. And then after a while, it was fun picking out the... the papers and stickers and things and then by that point when I said I had to start cutting she's like uh you know this is the kind of thing that uh sounds real good to a kid but you know but then you find out it's really not so fun <laughs> so I had all the paper out everything out and I was ready to bind it so I'll just bind it on my own and then I think she'll have fun once the embellishing happens so yeah but you know she's not she she just turned eight so or she just turned 
eight. Yeah. Okay, and this is an online pur purchase from, I think, Craft Direct. But um, I paid a little more than I like to, but I do like, um, well, I love Maggie Holmes Flourish. And this is from the same company online. I uh, just wanted a pad, you know, um, just really pretty. These would be really nice retro or little golden look at this beautiful um, peacock you know it looks like a paint by number watercolor and the cameras the green and yellow these are pretty field flowers just looks like a little watercolor oops and you get two of each looks retro love these so little birds tickets the blue floral more peacocks pretty floral lemons and pink pretty oh, i love this page love that one head parts and then it's back again to where it was and then I got this one I ordered online. You know, sometimes you pay a little more for something that you like. Um, let's see, which way does it go? This is Sunny Days by Maggie Holmes also. So I'll pay a little more for Maggie. Cute cameras and those colors. Little month cards. Retro. I think these would be pretty in a little golden junk journal. Look at that, the foiling. Beautiful. Cut aparts. Little dots. These are so cute. They're little umbrellas. Little swimmers. Isn't that beautiful? Big words. Watermelons. I just love the color there. It looks retro. Just some cute polka dots. Beautiful. Looks like fish scales. Look at this. It's one of my favorite too. I think I missed doing a mermaid or seaside one, so I'll have to work on that for next year. Pretty pink. And then you have these little borders you could use too, a little the cutoff points. I think these are all different designs, one of each. There's birds with a foiling gold. Oh, that's pretty. That would make a pretty cover. Retro look. Love the butterflies. Very nice. So, I'll pay extra for this. So, that's pretty with the gold foiling. Gorgeous papers, everyone. Love them all. Neat little photos. Look at that. Love that combination. And more little beach scene beautiful cut aparts so I believe that is all that I've gotten recently so now uh, I'm just gonna be working on this until my son and daughter-in-law come over they're visiting from uh, Portland so I'm just gonna get a few things done before they head over so I'm working on this it's a soft cover and I'm um, just going to decorate it. You have a great day. Bye-bye.